Hey guys, welcome to BT Travel. It's Natasha King, your Beijing tourist. And today I'm at Walker's Reserve in St. Andrew in the Scotland district. And this place is an ecological treasure for Barbados. We're gonna to talk to Micah Joseph. She's the project officer and the manager of tours here. And she's gonna tell us why this place is so important to Barbados and the fight against climate change. What was once the source of a key ingredient used to build structures across the length and breadth of Barbados is being transformed into a model for food sustainability and climate resiliency. Walker's Reserve is 277 plus acres of beauty in the Scotland district on the east coast of Barbados, where they are hard at work enhancing the ecosystems of various habitats. There is so much to explore and learn about the pioneering work being done here. Beekeeping and tree planting are just a few of the ways that visitors through guided tours can connect with the earth and immerse themselves in nature. Walker's Reserve is the only project of its kind in the region with a team committed to restoring this area back to ecological health. Educating the public on why all of this is important is high on the agenda. So we are currently within the Long Pond floodplain. And this area to me is absolutely amazing, but also a bit depressing because the floodplain is connected to lots of gullies. Um, so as you would uh, may know, the land goes upwards. So the gullies, when they all become flooded, this water comes through here. But along with this water comes the trash and everything Litter. else. I love bringing students out here and letting them know that that one bottle that they throw out the window, this is where it ends up. And then it gets this gets breached and then that goes into the sea, you know? All of those things contribute to um, the litter that goes into the sea. And then that fish consumed, not only consumed, gets wrapped around their necks, mm -hmm. you know, they end up dying and such. This area is a spot to me that I can really focus on educating persons about um, stopping the littering and such. Um, I love this area as well because we have mangroves in this area. Mangroves used to like exist once in Barbados. They used to be plenty, especially along the west coast. We had lots of wetland areas along the west coast uh, where mangroves were plentiful and then they all died, died off. So the mangrove basically is a tree and there are different types of mangroves. There's white, red and black mangroves um, that we have here in Barbados and they are so important because they are some of the biggest carbon sequesters that you have. And then they also are big nurseries for various fish and crustaceans too. So that benefits the fishermen of course because you will have plenty fish and crustaceans hanging here before they then go into the sea once they reach adulthood. Um, not only that, the mangroves trap and filter sediment and pollutants as well. Um, so they will trap and filter some sediments that are going out into the sea too. Um, these here that you see are white mangroves that would not have existed just a couple of years ago. Uh, but through an act of passive restoration where we asked the gentlemen, the farmers in the community to stop their cows from grazing in this area, through that act, you saw the white mangroves start popping up. And since then, they have entirely flourished in here. Wow. So what we are working on now is we would like to get some funding to do a full mangrove restoration project where we can create a full mangrove ecosystem. But we want to create like a full system where we have like a nursery built for mangroves, um, where they can be planted out here. And then also this model can encourage others to replant mangroves in certain areas. Flooding they areas. help with lots of flooding as well. And, like and pollution. Yes, exactly. For instance, in 2004, when you had the huge tsunami in Indonesia, um, they did studies and determined that those areas that had the mangrove barrier in the sea, the wave energy was a lot less coming in compared to areas that did not. So okay. yeah, there is evidence that these plants are highly beneficial to us. Mm -hmm. So we really, as I said, we really want to create this thriving ecosystem here so that we can create a model for other places on island as well. So Micah, we are here at Walker's Beach. This is beautiful. It's like untouched. I mean, all along the East Coast, you, there are different places you can stop, but here it's that like you actually have to make an effort to get out yeah. here. <laughs> and it is so, the natural beauty is just stunning. It definitely is. Um, this beach is quite untouched. Um, 
it is the most ne popular nesting site for the leatherback turtles mm -hmm. and it's also one of the areas where we have the last remaining sand dunes okay. now sand dunes are really good for preventing storm surge and sea spray from coming inland so they're very beneficial in that aspect um, of course they're very easily destroyed as right. you can see when we walk through sand we easily displace sand yeah. particles um, but the unfortunate thing is that sometimes we do have like ATVs and motorcyclists driving through here um, but we have put up some signs and that has reduced significantly mm -hmm. um, of course so this area right now we're trying to passively restore the area at this time but we do want to actively restore it as well once again once we are able to get some funding for these types of projects we definitely would get right on it for sure mm -hmm. um, but yeah it's a it's it's just look at it I could not end my visit to Walkers without planting a tree, so we met up with the regeneration coordinator, Regina Thorrington, so I could offset my carbon footprint. We're going to plant a canistel tree here today. Um, and a canistel, there's not a huge amount on the island, but they're quite small fruits, about this big, um, that are kind of like orangey, and they are also called like an egg fruit, because they do look a bit like the yolk of an egg. So okay. the trick is, we lie it on its side, like this, and then we roll it while pressing on the outside of the pot. Okay. Wow! Yeah. Thank you so much! No worries. Thank you for planting great. a tree. Of course. And guys, so as you can see, oh, we've had a tour today. I mean, there's so much to see, so much to learn here at Walker's Reserve. It is such a, it's an amazing place. And so I would tell anyone to come out and find out what's happening here. Take a tour with Micah, come plant a tree, yeah. and give something back to Barbados and to the earth and help in the fight against climate change. So that's it for BT Travel. I'm Natasha King, your Bajan tourist. We'll see you next time.